All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, two natal charts. This I'm going to compare the chart of Brad Pitt and uh, Amitabh Bakan. I don't even know how you say his name. Forgive me. Um, he is a very, very big movie star in India. I don't really know anything about him, though. Um, so I'm not going to be able to draw experiences from his own life, but maybe some of you viewers can help me and fill in details about him. But basically, I was asked a while back on my channel, um, it would be cool if you took a look at this guy, Amitabh Bakan's chart, and I had been talking about Brad Pitt or someone else's chart. Um, and so I did take a look at it, and I was like, wow, this is astonishing, because from what I was told, um, this guy is like super, super famous in India, like maybe one of the most well-known names there is in India. Um, and so he's kind of like a Brad Pitt type figure of India. Um, and, you know, Brad Pitt is a big movie star here in America. Um, so I figured they might have some similarities in their chart. And I talked about, uh, I believe I talked about Brad Pitt's chart when I was going over the Venus Avashtas video and everything. But now I figured I would just compare the two charts of these people um, because you know, there should probably be like, we should maybe see some similar themes or whatever if they've both been, you know, had like similar careers and similar roles that they have played in life, right? This all makes sense. Okay, so, um, so you guys should be able to see Amitabh Bakan's chart now. Um, I'm going to actually first show you guys Brad Pitt's chart first. Here we go. Yeah, actually, this is what I wanted to start it with. All right, so Brad Pitt, we see uh, Sun is in the first house, and we see that there's one, two, three, four, five planets forming Argola in the second house. Um, when there's a malefic, a cruel planet in the third house, it, al it also will form Argola, according to Jaimini. And um, an argola is a thing that is basically a Sanskrit word that means like a fastened bolt, you know, so it symbolizes like fastening you to your karma. Um, so the planets that are forming argola are like fastened to the person's nature. And, um, you know, actually, as another colleague of mine, uh, Laura Barat first pointed out, like every single planet in his chart is in forming argola pretty much to the first house, which is the person. So when that happens you know you have a lot of like glory coming to the person um we have like all these planets in capricorn forming argola to the first we have saturn forming argola to the first um not here but then when you read the chart from the seventh you also see argolas from the seventh house you see that rahu is in an unblocked argola and so is jupiter so every planet is forming argola in this chart so this is a really 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 powerful person so argola can show um, people who are really fastened to do a lot of like, you know, destined, fastened, locked in to do a lot of karmas in the world. Now, um, now let's compare that to Amitabh Bakan. And of course, there's so many more things I could say about Brad Pitt in any chart, but I wanted to focus on the Argola thing because look at this. This is the chart of Brad Pitt. He's got a Virgo ascendant um, ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the plan of acting. He's got Rahu on the Ascendant, which Rahu propels one into like worldly uh, fame, typically. Um, K2 is kind of more hidden. Rahu's more um, out, outward and externalizing. Um, now look, he's got one, two, three, four. Four planets forming Argola to the second house. And there's also one of them is Venus in Libra, a very strong planet, just like how Brad Pitt had an exalted Mars in one of those. Um, now his moon is not um, a malefic so he doesn't get the argola there but then he has uh, Jupiter exalted and that's forming argola but it is blocked by the moon but it's exalted so it's still going to do something um, and then no argola in the fourth none in the ninth but then you read it from the seventh and he's got um, no argola in the second no argola in the eleventh but then he's got an argola of Saturn in the fourth and then he's got uh, the moon, but it's blocked by Jupiter. So he's also got one, two, three, four, five, and uh, six planets, but one of those is blocked in Argola. So you see, there's also quite a lot of Argola in this guy's chart. He's also fastened to performing a lot of deeds, a lot of karmas. What are those karmas? Well, again, there's this Mars and Venus combination. There's like this, you know, entertainment, 
passion. Um, you know, Mercury is the planet of acting. It's retrograde. It's the ruling planet. Um, I won't go into trying to read all the rest of the chart, but this is just an example of uh, how important Argola can be and how useful it can be. Um, to re to recap, in a, if a planet is in the second house from the Lagna, it's forming Argola. But then if there's another planet in the 12th, it's blocking that one. And so you'll see that that 12th back house planet is like the thing that if that wasn't interfering in one's life, they'd be very successful. But in usually successful people, there's just a bunch of unblocked Argolas, you see? Um, and so that's what's happening in this court, in this chart and in Brad Pitt's chart. Um, there still is one being blocked here, you know, and I'm sure his success makes it hard for him to enjoy the happiness of his life, his Jupiter and Cancer, or, you know, vice versa or something like that. Um, but anyways, I hope this is a good, short, quick example for you guys on Argola. Thanks.